Owen Weir, first of all, looking at the positives, a win and, and, and welcome back to Bohemians with that. Thanks very much, yeah, it's good to start off with a win. It's, uh, it's not easy coming on in a game like that, especially when you're 4-0 or 4-1 up as it was the case and gone ten, uh, down to 10 players, but we dug in deep at the end and you could see where the team is, where they are, the team spirit and the hunger to, to maintain uh, the three points. I can tell you're, you're delighted to be back in Dublin, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah, well, all, all the factors together. Um, there's, there's uh, many positives of coming back to this very club, so I'm just looking forward to the rest of the season now. It, it, it was a, a messy end to, not, not just your time, but a lot of people's time in Sligo Rovers. I mean, it, it, were you a bit disappointed with how that situation has, has, has ended up? Yeah, well, uh, pre-season we were talking about finishing as high as we could in the table. Yeah, like we genuinely believed it. And listen, these things just aren't meant to be sometimes. And came to the stage now in the transfer window, or certain players... Um, uh, they may be interested in other clubs or they wish to move on and, and I was forced into this opportunity came up again and I knew from, from my time here last year how much I enjoyed it so I jumped at the chance to come back. So you come back to Daily Mend and you left the team who finished was the 7th or 8th in the league last year and, and you come back now and, and it looks like a, a European challenge is still very much on. Yeah, like I think after tonight now I'm, I'm not too sure but I think it's 14 games left. Yeah. Uh, 13, 14 games are well in the mix. Um, don't know how Pat's got on tonight but I'm hoping you know, the club's won't. like, I've done me a favour but <laughs> there you go. But um, yeah, there's a lot of games to play and I think there's an, enough belief and enough quality in the squad to really give it a challenge. Um, and it, it, it has been strange for you to come back and to, to see because last year, like even though it was an improvement on the year before, there was still a, a, a lot of there was still a, a bit of negativity. And I mean, the expectations of Bowes are always huge. Yeah. Is, is, it, is it good to be here at a time when, when Bowes are really they're they're challenging at that place where this this great club should be? Yeah, well, I, I came in last year uh, halfway through the season when I think the team was eleventh. Yeah, and uh, so actually going to finish seventh and, and going on a couple of half decent cup runs. Um, it, it was quite positive for me in the majority of the second half of the season but you can see where the team is now and um, like I keep using that word belief but I've only been in a couple of days and you can see that in the squad and uh, it's, it's a good squad it's a big squad and I definitely think there's, um, there's more strength and depth than there was last year How have you found working with Keith Long because with all due respect to Owen here it seems like Keith's style of football would suit the player that you are more so than Owen's would it? Yeah like from what I've seen so far like Keith's been positive with me he gave me a call and he, uh, he said there's a place here for me and that I can impact and affect uh, the team in a positive way and he knows what I'm like as a player so he knows exactly what I'm bringing in and, and I hope to add all those qualities to, the, to all the good qualities the team has already. All right, thank you very Derek Prendergast, um, let's start with the positives. Uh, an important three points, your second win on the bench, and, and it was a goal for yourself. A goal for myself, yeah, three points, but I think that's the only positives we can take out of the game. We had four chances in the game, and I take, take all the four, but um, apart from that, we didn't play well at all, and we let Derry back into the game with silly mistakes. And In fairness to them, they could have died at 4-0, but they came out and fought, so they'll need that fight for the rest of the season because they're in the relegation uh, battle now. All due respect to you because you, you did go and score the, the all important the four goals in the, in, in the sort of like the, that 15 20 minute spell in the first half, but it, it was a, an extremely disappointing half to be involved in for the, the second half there because Derry just they had you under the cost the whole time. Yeah, definitely. Um, in fairness, once we went 4 0, they just they had to go to it, so they put bodies up, um, up top. We probably couldn't deal with that um, as best as we should. Then our big man going off at half time, so the second half we just we never seemed to get out of our half and fairness to Derry they did create a lot then Paddy Cavanagh going off we'd already made yeah. our sub so that was another backs against the wall but I suppose we did dig in deep that's the second game now we've played with 10 men and it does take its hold there's a lot of tired bodies in the dressing room now and you've got all sorts of injuries I mean Lorcan's out uh, Der uh, Derek Pender's out uh, Dean, Dean Kelly's obviously left the club now and, and Izzy Akinade went off injured it, 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 it's been a very unlucky season for you the, the list goes on as well past that yeah exactly Mark Griffin as well um, so at the moment we've only two strikers well two recognised strikers Jason and Izzy Jason's in the twilight of his career now so he came on and put on a great shift but as I say yeah things have been going against us but we've a strong enough dressing room in there to not let that affect us and I think it showed over the course of the season because these injuries have been there from the first series of games and we've dug in deep and guys have played our position and played well in those positions Finally the, the position that you, you've consistently been in this season which is, is looking for those European places it, it, it shows the quality of the, the squad's depth uh, that, that you managed to still be fighting for those places even with the, the injuries we, and, and obviously the, the players leaving that we've discussed. Yeah exactly um, at the start of the season we probably didn't think that we'd be in this position but credit to every man in there 
they have put in a shift and our first momentum uh, sorry the four series of games we took yeah. momentum and we're carrying that so we do want to get into Europe and we have to do that by staying on their tails another important three or points for us tonight so all we can do is just keep getting three points and see where that gets us at the end of the season right, thank you very much Long, let's let's start with the positives here. A, a very important three points, two uh, two important wins. This in the game against Sligo and it, four goals. It was a, it was a clinical first half from your side tonight. Yeah, it was. We got the goals in quick succession. You know, obviously. Um one from the set piece. I thought Derry started the game really well, to be fair, and then they were well on top. And you know, we scored a goal from a set piece, and we work on those week in week out. And it's always pleasing to to, to, to see the rewards on on, on Friday nights. So, um, you know, we, we we got the goals, and like I said, we had a bit of a cut, we had a good cutting edge about us. You know, every time we attacked, it looked like we were we, we were we were creating chances. You know, um, so yeah, listen, probably a four nil. We, we we probably got a little bit complacent. We took our foot off the pedal to a certain extent. We, we regrouped, I thought, at half time, and, and um, you know we, we, we addressed one or two things. But second half, for whatever reason, we just never got going. And you know we give a city, um, we, we cough up possession in a, in a bad area of the pitch for their first goal. And you know they, they've got the momentum. You know their, their shape. Um, you know we didn't handle it. You know their movement um, with the five in the middle going to three at the back with the two up front. We didn't really handle it. Um, and uh, you know probably they, they've hit the crossbar on a couple of occasions, hit the post, and. Uh, you you know they've created chances, so you know it's three points. We're delighted with that, and um, but there's lots of work for th this team to do. Finishing, I mean, like there four goals in such quick succession as well, uh, and and goals like the ones that Keith Buckley was scoring. I mean, th those were strikers' goals that he got, and, and Derek Derek Brenner got. Yeah, yeah. No, listen, th we'll take any goals, scrappy goals or well worked goals. You know, I thought um, I thought I I Izzy was a real handful for the for yeah. for the Derry defence this evening. Um, you know, it, it was an incisive pass uh, for Keith Buckley, which it, with a well taken finish from Bucco to be fair to him um, Izzy took his goal very well Derry Prendergast he gets goals from, from corners to, um, you know he's done really well so so far this year so um, listen you, you know it wasn't perfect you, you know it was little, we had some nervy moments particularly second half and uh, we hung on to a certain extent so um, you know 4-2 <laughs> you know, it's uh, mixed emotions now, but the, the overriding one is that we won the game and it's another three points, and that, that brings us down to Cork next week and we can have a right go. You mentioned that, that Izzy was a handful. I mean, since he's come in, he has he seems to have been exactly that in every single game he's played for you so far. Yeah, well, listen, you, you know, he's got he's got pace, he's got power, he's got, you know, brute strength. You know, defenders don't like playing against him, he never gives them an inch, and um, he causes defences problems, and he also he causes, um, he creates chances for others too, yeah. you know, and uh, like, we saw like we saw tonight, so he took his goal really well. He set up Keith Buckley for the second goal uh, excellently. You know, we missed him when he went off the pitch, and uh, you know, we hoped uh, that he'd be ready for next week. It's something we've seen in glimpses, but is, is it possible? Is it possible we could see a, a partnership developing between himself and Jason Murray at any point? Yeah, well, there's no reason why not. Jason's a good player. He's a, cl a clever player. I mean, obviously, he's in the in the twilight yeah. of his career, and you know, so he can't play 90 minutes every week. So, um, you, you know, but there's no reason why you know, you know in games that the two of them can't play as a partnership. And um, they've done it before at Bray, so um, you know they have an understanding of each other's game. So from that point of view, there shouldn't be a problem. You mentioned that uh, that, that they that Jason Byrne, he, he's He's in the twilight of his career playing wise, but I mean, looking at especially Keith Buckley's goal tonight, I mean, those were the, the sort of goals you would have seen Jason Byrne scoring two years ago, and it's it, he, he must have that, he, he's such a positive influence to have in the dressing room. Ah, oh, Jason's a great guy. You know yeah. he's um, you know he's good around the training ground. He's good influence on on, on, on all the players, particularly the strikers. He, he he gives them that little bit of you know, you know um, that know how he passes on his experience. And uh, you know he's a good guy to have in around the dressing room. You know he's he's been there, he's seen it, he's done it. So um, you know we're happy to have him, and uh, we 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 we'll need Jason. You know he's he's made an impact in a lot of the games so far this year. And um, you know he probably wants to start more games. You know, but that's that's my job to try and manage his time yeah. on the foot on the pitch and the injuries just seem to keep piling up I mean now you know, I think Izzy was it was up and walking about by the end of the, the 90 minutes tonight but it was another uh, another worry isn't it yeah well listen we hope that he'd be, he'd be fit and ready to go against Cork you know injuries um, have are part and parcel of the game I keep saying this you know every team gets injuries every team but gets the injuries you've gotten is not part and parcel of the yeah, game yeah well listen you, you, you know sometimes it, it goes like that you know um, you know we got our luck tonight in terms of um, the, the result you know because like I said I thought Derry were very, very good, and uh, they put in a, they put in an excellent performance. Um, you know, uh, certainly, you know, uh, from a from an offensive point of view, yeah. you know, defensively, we 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 uh, we, we troubled them, and um, it's particularly obviously in the first half getting the goals like we did. Uh, thank you very.
Peter Hutton, let's let's start on the positives. It was a, a very good second half from your side. Very much so. I thought even the first 10, 15 minutes was we started exceptionally well. Uh, we created one or two very good chances, but unfortunately it didn't take them. Then we had a 10, 11 minute spell where we just completely calamitous defending. I mean, you, you mentioned that, but also Bo- Bohemians. Like you generally at this level, you don't see teams scoring the like scoring all four. The only real four chances they get in that period. No, well, so we just <laughs> the statistics showed there just that they had four shots on target and scored all four goals the entire game. Uh, Jared had really nothing to do then the rest of the game. We completely dominated, but just one of those. I think the, the players themselves were stunned just the, 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 the nature of the goals they conceded. Just as I say, calamitous defending. Sligo uh, lost by by three tonight to St Pat's. So. That those two goals could could prove to be valuable come the end of the season. Well, that's it. Look, everything we're in a dogfight, yeah. and it's important, as I say, we stick together. And I think the players showed that the second half, that real fighting spirit, and they're still in there and they're still going to fight for the club. That second half seems to be sort of symbolic of what Derry are going to have to to do this season. I mean, to to come and to really fight for the the whole. There's only a few games left, and they're they're so close and neck and neck with Sligo, and, and not too far away from Bray. No, well, we're still within touching distance of the teams above, even Sligo as well. So. Uh, no, we, look, as I say, we just have to start getting points on the board. Uh, hopefully we bring in two or f- three new faces this week as well, which will help add the squad. For yourself, um, well, is, is it a worrying time for you uh, in terms of your, 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 uh, your job security? Yeah, of course it is. It's just the nature of football. You're, you're going to be worried and you can see the grey hairs are getting more. <laughs> but uh, that's just the nature of the job. And obviously it's a pressure situation you're in. But, but look, I think the players were behind, are behind us all and the management team. And I think that was very evident in the second half, the way they, they put up that fight. Finally, coming into the, the next week's game, how important was that second half performance being as strong as it was? Was to, to to keep the lads' morale up because you've lost by the two goals, but it was I, like you deserved. You definitely deserved to win that second half. Yeah, well, even speaking to Keith Long there after the game, he doesn't know how they won the game. To be yeah. quite honest, you know, we basically handed them the three points on the plate and made it. We gave ourselves a mountain to climb, but we rallied and we we almost got there. But no, that was, there are a lot of positives to take from it, and that's what we said at half time. We scored and won the second half now and, and take it forward to the Longford game. Right, thank you. Very